Hey everybody, my name is Gabe, and this is episode one to my brand new series where we recreate Rust. Uh, before we start the video, I wanted to say I'm sorry for not uploading in a very long time. Uh, I've been very occupied with things. Uh, from now on, I will be making a video or two uh, every single day. So, on that note, uh, let's begin. Uh, also, um, it says that I have the free version of Unity, and I don't know why. I think it says I've like registered too many times or something. I don't know. I'm gonna we're gonna hash that out. Uh, me and Unity. So, I'm gonna try to make this um, tutorial as uh, beginner friendly as possible. You are gonna need to know some of the basic things, like how to use the actual interface of Unity, and what that means is like you know you know how to do everything in the scene, uh, scene game, blah blah blah. You know all that good stuff. So. Uh, I'm actually going to start off by making a new folder and I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, we're going to call this one scripts. Okay, so I fixed that uh, problem that I was having. Uh, so just make that um, that scripts folder. We're going to be putting all our scripts in here. Um, we are going to import the uh, basic player uh, controller for um, from Unity, just for now. So. I go to assets, import packages and characters and import. All right, so after that has been imported, just go to the standard assets folder. Um, characters, first person, prefabs, and we're gonna use this one, the rigid body. So uh, I'm gonna make a terrain here. So 3D object and terrain, and there we go. Um, it doesn't really matter its position right now. We'll deal with that uh, later. Right now, everything is fine. It's all good. Um, we'll find a grass texture in a second because I don't really like this uh, pure white. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so just drag in your rigid body uh, player controller and we're gonna lift them up a little bit um, higher than the terrain. So now if we hit play, Everything should work perfectly fine. And it does, okay. So we do have a problem. That's because we need to delete the main camera. And I'm also going to make a folder called scenes and save this scene as just game. Doesn't really matter yet. Okay, so everything uh, looks uh, everything looks fine. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go get a grass texture really quick for a placeholder, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you um, import your grass texture into Unity, just I'm just gonna call this grass grass uh, texture, and 2048, or actually we'll do we'll do 1024, uh, 16 bits for now, and just apply. Okay, so that should be good. You can't exactly drag that on there. So we're gonna go here to textures, add a texture, add texture, and drag this in here. Add. Uh, that looks a little big, so we're gonna, or a little pixelated, if you will. So I'm gonna edit this, maybe five by five. Yeah, five by five looks good. Okay, so that looks fine uh, for now. And I'm just going to rename this as player and make a new folder here called textures and put this grass texture in here and I'm going to make a new folder called prefabs and I'm just gonna put the player in there okay also tag him as player and apply that'll be uh, for later for when we do uh, scripting all right so after we've done all that um, we are now going to start uh, actually making some hills for the terrain and adding trees and grass. So we're going to start that off by going to Assets, Import Package, and Environment. Alright, so after you've imported uh, the Environment Package, just go to uh, Standard Assets, Environment, Speed Tree, and select Conifer. And now we have that open down there. So we're gonna go to terrain and we're gonna start making some uh, some hills. So just select paint height. Uh, maybe that's oh, that's pretty good actually. Okay. So 
brush size, I'll just leave that 100. Opacity 50, height will just go 5. And so you could see it adds um, sort of a hill to it. So we can also do, um, we can also raise the terrain like this. So I'll probably do that on the outside a little bit like that on the edges. Something like this will do for now. You don't have to do too much. And OK, that looks good. So uh, now I'll just make a few hills. So we're going to paint some height. OK. Now if we take our smooth height, we can actually go around the edges and smooth out the um, the edges of the terrain. As you can see, it looks over here, it's a little uh, rough. So we're just gonna smooth that out. And as you can see, it's all fine now. You might like that, I'm not sure. Um, if you do, it's fine. Uh, you could keep it that way. You can lower the opacity of the smooth brush and you can change the brush type so you can see it, it can give it some pattern when you do smooth it out I like to just keep it regular uh, fuzzy smooth okay so I think that's pretty good actually so if you hold what was it okay so if you go to raise and lower terrain and you hold shift you can actually uh, remove that if you'd like or add holes things like that um okay so this is fine for now um i'll add water later we don't really have to do that right now so uh right now let's just add some grass so right now let's just add some grass so um Go over here to the flowers, looks like flowers, and edit details, add grass texture, and hit the little circle thing there, and search grass, and I'm going to use this one because this one is my favorite, and add. We'll change the settings in a, in a minute, I just want to start, so hold left click, it should create grass, and the reason you couldn't see, <laughs> now the reason you couldn't see that was because our, um, our detail distance was uh, too close, so I'm just going to make that max for now and go back to the grass tool and I'm just going to make grass. Instead of doing that, I'm actually going to make a... Okay, that's actually the biggest brush. How about that? F fuzzy is better. And let's see, maybe less target strength. Yeah, that's good. Something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to start um, making grass here. Might be too much, so just hold shift and just kind of play around with it a little until you get uh, what you want, what you're looking for. Okay, so I think this is okay for now. Uh, I don't think we're going to have to change the grass settings for uh, right now, we'll do that later. Um, as you can see, it has a randomized height of the grass, so it looks very cool. Um, it has different uh, vegetation color, really nice, uh, really good stuff. So if we go to trees, we're gonna add trees now, and the tree is called conifer, so we can actually just uh, drag that in there and add. If we left click, it'll add a bunch of them. And I think this is a, it's actually perfect. Maybe a few more there. Yeah. Okay. And you can hold shift and uh, remove. I don't know why is the brush so big. You can change the settings how you want. The tree density, the height of the trees, which is random. As you can see, not every tree is the same height, which is very cool. 
they're all unique. So uh, I'm just going to remove some trees over here. We'll add water here. So this hill would basically be like a, the part of the land. Okay, so that's enough trees for now. Um, I'm going to move my player because he's not in the right spot over to this hill. Okay, so if you hit play, oh, that was bad. Uh, you should see the trees do look a little bit uh, bigger than they should. Maybe we can make them just a little smaller and the grass is actually really high or we're, or we are really short. Yeah, we're pretty short, but the grass is still um, still high. So I'm gonna go to the player and I'll take the camera and I'll move it up a little bit. Maybe I'll take the capsule and size it up a little. Save and apply. I'm also going to lower the player a little bit. It doesn't really matter unless we have fall damage, which we don't at the moment. Okay, so it looks a little bit more, uh, uh, feels better, more realistic. Um, the trees do have collision, the prefab that comes uh, with this by default. And yeah, okay. So this is pretty good, I think, uh, for now. Uh, obviously in future episodes we're going to uh, we're gonna do a lot with this because this is a, um, just the same tree we'll have uh, a lot more variation um, next episode I think we're gonna start doing a little bit of uh, programming and we might play around with some image effects in episode 3 so stay tuned for that uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good one